Well, thank you for coming to this parent teachers conference. Um, all right. All right. So the reason I have uh, brought you here today is because your child has been acting a bit um, reckless and uh, risky in the uh, classroom. And while that is a positive, that can be a positive thing and has made him very active during story time and our counting collections and trash can game. It also has gotten him into a bit of trouble with um, some of the students. And I've just noticed that, and I thought I'd bring that to your attention. Is there anything what at kind of home trouble? that he does? What kind of trouble? Well, um, he's been kind of uh, roughing around the children, and... Uh, we've had to tell him that that's not the right way to go around it. You know, that, like, whenever someone took his uh, fire truck, he um, went and um, gave them a light... Not that... not It didn't look like that hard of a slap, but it, like, was a light slap on the back of the head, which we did tell him about not to do. Now, does he show any of these uh, things at home? He's never aggressive at home, but he does tend to get annoyed if you take any of his stuff. Never mm. seen aggression, though. Does he... Does he have any, like, older siblings or anything like that? No. It's just him. Because after all, uh, this is my uh, first year in the, uh, the classroom. I, you, they probably didn't go through if they did. But yeah, if, they, if he didn't, if he's an only child, then that might explain why. Because if he doesn't have any particular siblings to bounce off of, that could explain why he acts out because he has no um, uh, siblings to bounce off of and just to get that energy out or to um, kind of mold himself around. Yeah. Other than that, I would say his development like I said, it's going very well. His social development. Um, he's honestly very, very well-meaning. You know, he's he has his outbursts here and there, but he's very well-meaning, I can tell. Is he well-mannered at... with y'all? Oh, yes! During snack time in particular, he's always making sure to... Um, share you know share some of his food of course he also he does he shares his food but he doesn't like it when his food's taken you know he he likes to be the the ones instigating it rather than uh it being taken from him but you know and that's something we've more told the other kids that that's not a right thing to do and you know that yeah i was about to say if someone's right taking thing. his food i think if someone took your food, you would be mad as well. So. Oh yeah. Oh no. No, definitely. Definitely. I I definitely agree with you there. Yeah. Um. Which is why we uh, have uh, made sure that that kind of stuff was uh, explained and instructed through um, our different lessons. Now. Um, He's excited so... in the mornings to see people, but. Not to be there. Hmm. Okay. But I well, feel that's normal with children in school, honestly. Yeah, yeah, they need a they need a chance to warm up to it, you know. And the first years are usually the time where they're they're most developmentally active, you know. They they want to run around. They want to be a hands-on and that's why that's why our um center here at um catwood's kitten um care center 
make sure to take care of your children and make sure to give them a, a hands-on experience with our pause held high. And uh, actually, next week, we are planning a uh, math story involving um, block people and uh, graham cracker walls. Well, that sounds fun. Called What Wall We Do. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Now, is there any questions you have for me uh, regarding his activity or anything? As long as he hasn't been physically attacking anyone... I don't see a giant issue if it doesn't turn physical, but... Right, right. No, I don't have any questions. Yeah, if it doesn't turn... Alrighty. Um, well, I... thank you for coming today, and... Uh, I, I appreciate this uh, conversation we're willing to have. Uh, you guys have a wonderful day now. You as well.